All right, so I've got my document properties here. I'm just going to set the width to 600 and height to 300. And make sure you have the border on top box checked. Uh, that'll make sure that this line is always above whatever we draw. Okay, we're all set here. So we've got our canvas. Let's get started. Uh, let's just go over some of the tools. Uh, let's go over the draw tool here with our pencil. Uh, now you see if you can you click and let go, you can do a straight line like that. Um, you could also hold control while you do this and get a straight line. You can do horizontal, vertical, angle, all the good stuff. Alright. And also, of course, if you click and hold, you can draw freely in some odd shapes. You can adjust the smoothing on the top there. Uh, you can do really smooth or really jagged, depending on what you're doing. So that's the pencil tool. Um, put that back. There we go. All right, let's uh, let's check out the pen tool uh, to do Beezer curves and all that. So uh, if you click and let go, and you can do as many points as you want. Um, and also, if you click and then double click at a point, it'll be open like that. Um, if you click and hold, uh, you can always get a curved line such as this, and then click to place it. There you go. And if you click and put some points and then click and hold, you can add a Beezer curve wherever your position is. And then keep going and whatever you want. So that's that. Alright, so those are the uh, the line drawing and node tools. Um, you can, let's show you some of the options here. We can do like this, and if you select your nodes, um, you have our options up here. What we're going to do is click the node smoothing right here, and you can do shapes like that. And then you can see the uh, little adjustments when you click each node. Uh, you can do the handles there and adjust the Beezer curves. It all depends on what you're doing, I suppose. So that's that. So those are the options for your tools. Now we're all set. So what we're going to do, we're going to lay down just the letter S. doesn't matter what font or anything, just the generic font would be fine. Alright, and what I want to do is uh, I want to convert this to a path because when it's a text you can't edit it at all. So now that it's a path you can see that we can bring up our our nodes here and we can go ahead and drag and adjust these etc. So what I want to do is take the top part of the S and uh, I want to drag it out all the way to the side there. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, let's see, first you see you can select the individual nodes like this. You can I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those. And then these, I'm gonna hold control and drag them out. Uh, that way it'll snap to a straight line. All right, so now we've got our big drawn out S thing. Um, but you see we have this little lump there, but I wanna smooth that out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna draw a square and I'm gonna use some path manipulation here. Uh, select them both, go to path, and then click difference. And that should cut it up. Um, I'm going to copy and paste that. And I'll show you what we're going to do with this. I'll just throw a stroke on here. Um, just anything. Make it a big fat stroke. And round it. Alright. And I'm just going to place it behind here. So I'm just kind of showing you what you can do with these bizarre letter adjustments. So we make that, there you go. So now you can see the start of some sort of logo or something like that. And um, here, I'll, just, I'll just finish it up real quick. But this goes to show how useful node adjustments can be and why it's, you know, it's good to learn them. So I'll just finish this up and make that white. There we go. Um, put that behind it. There we go. We'll just, uh, like this smaller maybe. There we go. Stretch that out. Oh, that's too too big on the stroke. I'm gonna shrink that down a little bit. Turn that maybe 15. There we go. All right. And now you see we kind of got this neat little logo thing going on um, from path manipulation. And there you go. Well, that pretty much sums it up.